pornography industry is the slave industry of 2017. 2017, we don't have cotton fields, we don't have slave plantations, but we have the pornography industry. Is there anybody out here that supports the pornography industry? That is the worst slavery in America since the slave plantations of the 1800s. If you're clicking on pornography, if you're paying for dirty pictures, you are supporting the slave trade in America today. And until people stop doing that, America is not going to be great. We go out and preach up and down Broadway on the weekends. There's drunk people everywhere. You think America is going to be great with drunk people going out and get drunk on Friday, Saturday night? No. America is not going to be great with people getting drunk. I just saw on the news the other day that sexually transmitted diseases are at an all-time high on college campuses. I'm here to tell you that America is not going to be great with sexually transmitted diseases being rampant on our college campuses. See, it's the fornication that God warned us about. God said to, sex should only be in marriage between a man and a woman. Is that what people do? Do people obey God's commandment as far as sex between only be, be, be between only a man and a woman? Well, if it was, there wouldn't be rampant STDs in America, would there? But no, it's the judgment of God is coming out on America because of all this sin. You want to make America great again? Start in your own life. Start in your own house. You men need to teach your wives and your children to live holy before God. America is not going to be great when you have selfish men in their houses. All they care about is sports and their own selfish pleasure. That is the biggest downfall in America is fathers that don't lead their families in righteousness. And the reason they don't lead their families in righteousness is because they love sin and they hate God. See, a lot of people will say, well, I don't hate God. I don't hate God. Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commands. Are you keeping Jesus' commands today? Jesus said, be ye holy as your Father in heaven is holy. Are you proving that you love Jesus by obeying him? Or are you just saying you, you love Jesus and then proving yourself to be a liar and living with sin in your life? That's the question. That's why we came out here today. If there wasn't so much hypocrisy amongst the people that call themselves Christians, America wouldn't be in the problem it is today. If people lived holy, they would vote for holy leaders. If people loved God, they would vote for leadership that loves God. But instead, people are selfish, so they vote for leaders that say they'll give them stuff. Hey, how about an Obama phone? Hey, how about free health care? Hey, how about free education? Newsflash, people, there ain't nothing free in the world. Somebody's got to pay. The government doesn't have one dime to give anybody until they take it from you. So if you're voting for politicians out of selfish motivations, you are not working toward making America great again. If you're living with sin in your life and sin against God, you need to repent from your sin. Because not only are we only going to have a bad nation, you're going to have a bad eternity. That's the real problem. If you die in your sin, rebelling against God, God's not going to want you in heaven. God's not going to welcome people into heaven that prove they hate him by rebelling against him. You need to turn from your sin and trust in the shed blood of Jesus Christ to save you, to save your soul from the everlasting lake that burns with fire. That's what Jesus said. If you die in your sin, you're going to be cast into the lake that burns with fire. We don't want that for any of you. God doesn't want that for any of you. This may be your last warning. I know a lot of you may go to church on the weekends. And you're thinking, well, what's that guy preaching about? Nobody's ever told me that in church. Most pastors in the pulpit, they just want to comfort you so you keep coming there and they keep getting your money. Okay, we don't want anything from you, but God wants your soul. 
And until you turn from your sin and give God your soul, give God your will that He gave you, turn it over to Him, eternity is going to be really, really bad for you. Jesus talked about weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth, being cast into outer darkness, bound hand and foot. I'm here to tell you people, you can avoid that. But if you don't turn from your sin, if you say, oh, well, I'm just going to keep doing whatever it is. I'm just going to keep living the way I want to. I'm not going to change my life and live the way God wants me to live. It's going to be bad for you. But we couldn't leave, leave you unwarned. That's why we came out here today. God wants you to have faith in Him. He wants you to have faith in Jesus. But He also wants you to have faith in yourself. If you don't have faith in yourself, then He's Do you have a Bible verse for that, sir? To have faith in yourself? Yes. What verse is it? It's the verse that Jesus said to us all, if we have faith in ourselves, we'll have faith in Him. That's wrong, sir. The Bible does not say that. Jesus never said that. You need to repent. You, you just blaspheme Jesus Christ, sir, and that is a sin. Many times because I have faith in myself. Then you need to repent. True faith in Jesus. Then you need to repent from your sins, sir. You just said something that you need to learn your Bible, sir. You need to learn your Bible because it doesn't say that. That's a shame. The Bible doesn't say that. Faith is a mustard seed. Jesus said you must have faith in this. See, that's the worldly philosophy that a lot of people have. You know, God, God helps those who help themselves. No, that's not a Bible verse. That is bad philosophy. We're out here to preach the Bible, not perpetuate bad philosophy. We're out here to tell you the truth, not tell you our opinions. We're out here to tell you the hard truth, even if I don't like it, even if you don't like it, we're telling you the truth of God because we fear God and what God says is going to happen. Joel Osteen. Yeah, Joel Osteen's God. Hey, this guy knows what he's talking about. Well, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Ready to move on, brother? Yeah. We can go down this way. That's the block right there. You can't get through that. I already checked it. You want me to do this next couple? Yeah. Three?